Hi folks, and welcome to my first league match in uh, the year 2021. And yeah, Happy New Year to everybody. This year is strongly believed to to be much better than the previous one, as if this uh, changed number in the calendar will miraculously heal all our troubles. And uh, <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's let's believe in that. So. Uh, and also, let's look at the board. And uh, we have some stuff and some more stuff. Lots of travelers and whatnot. And yeah, uh, uh, playing against uh, against uh, Warfred here, and he's going to be the first player. Uh, and what's going on on this board? Uh, we have the. We have capitalism here, and it affects quite a lot of stuff. And we also we have swindler. We have uh, we have an upgrade. Mm, I think I think it's worth it to play the cursed gold and uh, go and grab an upgrade and probably a page with that, right? Yeah, let's just go and do that. I think I like that. Uh, so uh, he goes ahead and gets a hermit. It's interesting. Uh, I mean, Hermit's great, obviously, because, you know, it's not only the estates, it's also the curses now and whatnot. Uh, and, uh, I mean, it is a great opening, like, pretty much always. I think I'll go with the page, though, and see how it goes. Uh, that's gonna be a Hermit for me, though. Oh my god. <laughs> like both of my openings uh, missed the shuffle. That's not a good sign. <clears throat> yeah, that's really sad. Well, I can. What if I play Cursed Gold and uh, get a cemetery here? So I get to trash two coppers and a curse. And gain a curse. Well, it's not too appealing to be honest. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll just. Uh, maybe I ain't gonna play the cursed gold here and just get like a red catcher or maybe a second page. I think I'll 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 go with the red catcher. Upgrade is fine here just because. Um, it's not just silver, there are spammable free cost cards like a guide or a caravan guard. But uh, essentially, I'm, what's going on right now is uh, I'm behind this golden somewhere, which obviously <laughs> not what you want to see. So, uh, his upgrade is all, uh, also missed, but he was able to play uh, the Hermit at least uh, on the second shuffle. And he's able to see his page, so basically, yeah, he didn't open with the page, but he was able to see the page earlier than I did. And he trashed his Hermit for Cemetery, and yeah, that, that kind of worked out quite nicely for him. All right, uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, grab the guide here. I think that's my best option. I didn't get a uh, red cashier last turn, yeah. Well, the draw is kind of is rather weak here, so I think I'll go ahead and get a second page here for for a warrior eventually, yeah. And also, I mean, I, I, I didn't even consider that, but it, uh, it gave me the colonnade points, which is good. So it takes a Puka. I mean, that's totally all right. Let's trash the cures. And um, I think I'm going for a Madman here. How about that? Yeah, that, that seems right. I mean, 
I can take a two cost, but I think Madman is just better. So let's get another Hermit and uh, just. Uh, well, I can. I can. One thing I can do here, I I can take a capitalism with that. Uh, it will cost me a curse. I think it's worth it. Let's try and do that. And I'll still get my madman. It's it's kind of questionable whether you actually want to do that. <clears throat> oh wow, that's a lot of sewers for him. I'm quite far behind here, definitely. Not sure if, uh, I mean, not sure if uh, most of it comes from my decisions. It, it looks like some of it comes just from the draws and him being the first player. But opening Hermit here was, uh, I mean, definitely uh, something to consider. I decided against him, against it, but uh, it definitely worked out nicely for him. So he's holding up to some of his treasures, thinking maybe about uh, getting a cemetery here. So yeah, I guess getting silvers for him is kind of okay, uh, just because he, uh, he has this book now, so he can trash the um, sewers he doesn't want to see anymore. And yeah, decides to get rid of some of this uh, junk here. Gets rid of his cursed gold. All right. Uh, <laughs> that is terrible. That's really bad. I I don't I don't want to get all this all this money, right? I mean I don't want to get all these silvers. It's like three silvers and then a cemetery and then whatever he's a yeah. I I can't I can't afford myself to get five silvers, and my hermit can trash anything. That's really bad. Oh wait a second, I can guide it away, right? Oh never mind, I can't. No, I just I just put the guide on on the mat. Yeah, I can't do that. Oops. Okay. Um well Is it worth it to gain a swindler? I mean Probably isn't, right? Just in a couple of turns by the time I, I I see it for the first time, maybe he's gonna have the champion in play already. I don't think it's worth it. I can just go for another madman here and hope for, I don't know, something. Yeah, but, oh my god. <laughs> well, at least I'm gonna be able to trash a curse and then guide it and guide his terrible hand away. But this definitely does not start good for me. He says goodbye to his puka. Oh, that's... I can understand that, I guess. Uh, so here's my madman. Uh, what did he gain? Well, just a couple of cards. Uh, well, actually three cards, so three sewers still. Damn it. I mean... I guess I can deal with that. Oh, let's just go for it. Oh my god, it's four silvers. All right, whoops. Mm. So let's get another upgrade. Let's trash this estate. Should I get like a tracker? I mean, what are my other options? I think I, well, it's either either a guide or a tracker. I think I'll, I'll go with the tracker. And I can trash quite a few cards here with the cemetery, which I think is worth doing. So I can get like a cemetery and, um, well, 
Might go with um, yet another page. Mm, maybe it would have been worth uh, consideration to get another upgrade. I'll get the page. So my only advantage is I'm getting some of those uh, colonnade points. And I am pretty much behind in every other aspect. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess I have the capitalism, which is something. That's not a good uh, hand either. I mean, oh, hey, he revised the Puka here. Interesting. So, yeah, I mean, I play the upgrade here. Mm, this treasure hunter will gain uh, yet another two sewers, which is fine. I can trash I can trash the sewer, right? I don't really want it and uh, yeah, I gonna get more. Ah <laughs> Damn it, more sewer is everything I wanted, right? Uh well the good thing is I'm going to top deck the this uh what you call it. Oh no, wait a second. I didn't yeah, right, I didn't play the Hermit. Whoops. Well, what do I want to top deck? Mm, I mean, I guess it's just another guide. Yeah. Although, you know what? Let's get a tracker. And I'm going to top deck it. Yeah, just because I think those colonnade points might matter a little bit. I'd rather stay up. I mean, I'm I'm quite behind in pretty much everything. So I'd rather stay, stay up, at least in the points. And then maybe... Maybe the game state will come to some um, um, situation where I can pile out somehow or something, have a pressure on the piles at least. I don't know. Because... Um, oh, hey, he just gets a prize. I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, there is no draw. Let's get another upgrade here. Definitely want to do that. Let's see what this tracker can give me. Oh my god, that was not good. Uh, I can get another upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Top deck it. Sounds uh, okay me so he's only slightly behind uh, only slightly ahead in points despite having those two provinces hey Maria going to uh, mute you or if you can do it yourself that would be nice thanks <laughs> all right so um, Well, I guess I can take it. That shit doesn't make any f sense to me. Puka makes some sense. I, I guess it's better to, to get the Puka than uh, another upgrade or whatnot. Oh my god, and my warrior gets trashed. Uh, yeah, that, all, all of it is pretty sad. <clears throat> mm. 
<clears throat> That's a Garon Guard and uh, another prize. Well, all right, I can't really guide this one because. Yeah. Oh, I can top the go. Ooh, it's, hey. And. I guess it's just gold. And I guess I'm going to buy another upgrade and top deck it. I need his deck to somehow just die. I I guess I could have known if the last card is drawable by the Wisp, but I have no freaking idea, so... Well, it worked out nicely. Uh, let's play those red catchers. I'm already going to play this Puka. Well, I might. I might if I find a champion. Well, it's a... Uh, the probability of that happening is really low. Uh, what should I discard here? Hmm. Yeah, that, that's no good. Ah. Yeah. I guess I should probably keep the page for now. I'm gonna top deck the madman. Maybe that'll help me somehow. <clears throat> Four sewers, huh? Oh, I mean, it's good for his deck now because he's mostly trashed down. He just has all those money and uh, uh, all the provinces, basically. And I mean, you want to see your sewers in, in this kind of deck. And here, I think I'll just trash the uh, Century into Dashi for the whole point. And. Uh, Get another page, might as well Tom deck it because I mean, I don't care <laughs> for a couple of points. Like another tracker, because I don't know, I don't know why it's useful, but yeah, I, I needed him to, I needed him to not have this prize. Mm. All right, we'll, we'll play it out, it ain't gonna take the whole lot of time. Mm, but yeah, it's not really going anywhere. I just, I just don't really want to make it like a really long game because I it doesn't need to be a very long game because I'm kind of losing this one anyway. I just uh, hope for some kind of miracle here. But yeah, um, well, hey, we can, well, that was not useful. I should have, I should have been top decking this dashi so this <laughs> ghost would, <laughs> would discard it. Oh, uh, it's okay. <clears throat> I, uh, I kind of feel like uh, the whole game I was, um, Uh, really far behind, so I'm going to be the first one in the in the next game, so it's okay. So let's look at the board, and again we have uh, quite a lot of uh, additional stuff. In this case, it's uh, hexes mostly, and I have a five two. Which I guess means I open with a fisherman, 
and um, something else. So, do we have trash in here? Mm, not really. We do have gardens. We okay. So we don't have trash in and. Uh, I think it might call for a um, deck which would like to buy some gardens and then I wonder if Jester is going to be any good for that. There is also training, so you can try and do something with that. Mm, what are you going to train though? Because everything besides uh, Fisherman is quite expensive and um in in those decks with no trash and fishermen also going to be expensive so training does not really have a very good target and jester i mean <laughs> most likely is going to reveal a copper right and then giving them a copper is in this kind of deck it does not really hurt them all that much but i I still think it might be the best option here. Mm, yeah, let's go for that. I mean, it will eventually mm, disperse some curses or something, or steal something nice. So, I think it's it's okay to have a jester here. Gets a camel train, which is reasonable. Uh, I draw four. It's just going to be another fisherman, I think. Because if I end up having a reasonable number of fishermen, I'll just I'm just going to train them, right? Oh, I exile the cursed village. So um, I don't know about that. I think I'm just going to try and well, I'll get a second jester now, and. I'm going to get a horde whenever I get the chance, and we. Ah, oh, that sucks to draw my second jester here. Uh, I'm going to try and do this money approach here to this board. That's just. I mean, I can I can go ahead and get a camel train. Actually, kind of works nicely with the forge in terms of, uh, you know. Uh, exciting the gold, which I'm definitely going to get with a uh, with a horde. It can it can also be a gardens already, but I think it's a bit early for that. It can be a silver. I think I'm I'm good with uh, adding a camel train here, and it kind of sucks to see uh, four coins again here in this hand. Get some merchant guild, a uh, second merchant guild section. Mm, let's get a fisherman here. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure where he's trying to go with the with the cursed villages because this draw engine it ain't gonna work really all, all that nicely. Uh, so here, I think I'm bound to play the jester here. And um, yeah, I'll get the camel train sure. And I'll go ahead and grab the gardens. Whatever. With two golds. Why not? Looks good for me. He trashes his camel train. That's not a big deal. Definitely. Uh, should I um, trigger the shuffle here? I don't think so. Well, maybe knowing that it's going to be just a copper. But... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to rush those gardens. It's okay. Well, that's that's a very sad hand indeed. Maybe here I go ahead and get the animal fair. Because he's kind of trying to build some kind of engine and I'm not quite sure if that's going to work here, to be honest. Thing is, even if, even if he takes all the cursed villages, 
I'm gonna give him some junk there. And I don't think it's gonna work out for him. But we'll see, definitely. I mean, I can be proven wrong here. He's deluded now, that actually should be quite painful for him. So uh, what do I want to exile here? It might be just another gold, to be honest. It might be... Mm, well, thing is, I, w I might really benefit from uh, one of the piles um, disappearing. Who's going to benefit from that more? Uh, it might be him. Mm, yeah, so I'll, exi I'll just exile the gold and buy the primes. <clears throat> Thing is, the alternative VP is, you know, it's just gardens, right? And as soon as he starts buying those gardens, his deck his decks is going to just, just fall apart. Okay, so he goes for that. All right. So that's nice. I can hit a bronze here. Hopefully the last card is a copper or something so that I can get another gardens. Mm, well, he can get two more gardens. Nope, he doesn't want that. All right. <clears throat> All right, I guess another camel train. And yeah, I can I can get more gardens here. That's good. And here is my animal fair. Hopefully if he would if he would empty one of the piles, that would be just amazing. But I guess if he does not, it's okay, I'll just buy friends. Get some more merchant guilds. Uh yeah, sure. Bruins is fine. I, I can't really complain about that. Uh this hand sucks, but I mean it's better than all my garbage is concentrated within one hand and in comparison to that situation where uh, it would be spread through, you know, through the whole shuffle. Let's... Uh, maybe I should be just buying another animal fair here. How about that? Hmm. <laughs> I think I like that more. Let's do it this way. So he takes the last gardens, which is definitely good for him. But the thing is, um, I'm still quite ahead. I mean, for what we uh, ended up doing, my deck is just better for doing that, I think. Well, uh, do I want to give him the copper? I think I'll just take the copper, to be honest. I mean, it ain't gonna hurt him at this point because uh, he still have a shuffle of 26 cards. It's just a matter of points. Uh, I think I'm getting a dashi here, right? Yeah. Sadly, that's not quite a prize, but it's okay. I'll get another dashi with the gold. This board does not fill me with excitement, but it's fine. That's at least a dashi, so it's it's all good. He's gonna get uh, some coffers here, so that's good for him. I'm well. Actually, let's let's try and count it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have thirty-six cards. So now it's uh, thirty-seven. 
so I'm three cards off from the threshold. I'm not sure how many gardens do I have. It might be just three, maybe it's four. I think it's three, probably. Yeah, maybe maybe all this, uh, you know, him having all the merchant guilds, maybe it's just uh, something that's gonna uh, win him the game here. <clears throat> but maybe also my jesters have done enough damage, I'm not sure. I believe right now it's definitely can be just decided by the draws. He should probably just take like a dashi and the copper here or something. Although his shuffle is coming to an end, so mm, I don't know. I I think it, at this point it just it just points no matter what. You don't really want to try and improve your deck anymore because this game can uh, end, you know, right away. All right, so he got himself a couple of dashes. And that kind of sucks for me because, well, for obvious reasons, I can't really take the prize because then he just wins. Um, I mean, all right, I'll just get a dashi. Uh, that, that, that was bad, that was bad. If I would draw like an animal fair there, it would have been just amazing, but I didn't. You can't really predict anything in those uh, this kind of decks, so it's okay. Uh, he can't really uh, take the prawns here. Uh, he can't really take a dashi here because of annex. So it's just going to be. Um, Either a state or a camel train. If he does, if he thinks that uh, uh, getting just two cards is better for him because of gardens, I have no idea. Oh, well, actually, I, I, we can see that, right? It's uh, five plus it's seven plus four. Oh, hey, he's actually one card away from the threshold. Gets a dashi. God damn it. Yeah, Annex won't save me. That's really bad. Uh, he wins next turn if he has a turn, no matter what, right? Because of Annex. I've lost the count. Maybe that will maybe that will trigger the threshold for me. I I should I should just go for it. Well, oh, never mind. We are not even on three pile. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever. GG. Sad. All right, he's going to be the first player here. And I'll be right back.
All right. Um, so yeah, really on to the next one. Uh, it's going to be in game three. He's the first player. Let's look at, uh, let's look at the kingdom. Here we have some wounds. All right. Um, so Unlike the previous ones, here we can build quite a huge deck. Uh, what is it going to be? It can be a Patron Pixie or Poacher Pixie or like... You can even bank it for something if you really want to. I think Patron is going to be really worth it because yeah because of mastermind awkwardness when you play it for the first couple of times I think I want to open with Patron Pixie let's try and go for that oh my god yeah the 5-2 five 5-2 two. Five two is great you can display stuff I mean since you can trash your estates easily it's not that you know, overwhelming, but it's still pretty, pretty damn good. I wonder if I should just go and get the fair here, just because if I hit four the next time, I'd pretty much prefer to get a couple of pixies than any of the alternatives. I mean, it might be just another patron or like a poacher. I think I want the fair. Let's do it. My pixie sadly missed the shuffle, which is quite annoying. And I wonder if I just go ahead and get a mastermind here. Because, you know, I'm, I'm getting this thing, right? I trashed a couple of cards already. I have this pattern, I have that pixie, I'm gonna have more pixies. Mm, I think it's, it's it may be a little bit greedy, but I think I kind of want to risk it a little bit as a second player and with my shuffles being suboptimal so far. Let's go for it. Last card at the end of the turn. Hmm. That sounds good. All right. Uh, no. I just think I want a couple of pixies here. So this mastermind is guaranteed to hit something nice. Well, I mean, there are a couple of pixies down there and well, that's about it, but still it's quite good. It's not like the, it's not like pixies are the best target ever for mastermind because, you know, you can only, you can only trash once for, um, for a benefit, but, uh, Still, it's okay. I think uh, here I might just uh, go ahead and take another mastermind, or it could be something like. Hmm. Well, there are options. Mm -hmm. That could be like a hunting grounds, or like spices. Eh, I'll go ahead and get the mastermind. Let's see how it goes. That's a um, rather good pixie, the Earth Gift. Although, yeah, it doesn't want it. Okay. Mm, 
gain a sewer. Hmm. Nope. Plus action. Mm, no, thank you. Plus card. Uh, no, I think I'm good. Uh, thank you, but no. All right. So there goes all my estates. So uh, this mastermind have a, has a target in the face of Patron for the next turn. I should get a, uh, get spices here. I mean, you definitely want spices eventually. Mm, that should be the good moment to do that, I think. Probably just going to mastermind the pixie. Um, no thanks, I guess. Will wisp. Uh, yeah, I'll go for that. Right. They ain't gonna be the whole very useful in the end of the game, but for now they're quite useful. And if I get, if I somehow get more than just two of them, that's just going to be exceptionally good. So um, the only bad thing is that I didn't quite find my other mastermind. That's actually quite bad. I think I might just take uh, the last uh, three pixies here. The alternative would be to get Hunting Ground Pixie or something. Hunting, hunting Ground 2 Pixies. Let's go ahead and get the Pixies. I think eventually, I mean, if I'm gonna get two more Will Wisps um, out of them, that's gonna be really nice. This turn I might uh, try and play, put those masterminds into play and get another mastermind. <clears throat> so he exiled one of his estates and one, um, another one is still in the deck. And getting all the pixies also kind of makes his displays a little bit worse because now he can exile the coppers into pixies which might matter a little bit. There you go, that was a nice will wisp um, Plus card at the end of the turn. I'm not quite sure it's worth it because... Uh, with two masterminds in play, I'm just going to draw everything anyway, I think. So I'm I ain't gonna spend my pixie on that, uh, and here just another mastermind I think. So so far I feel like this fair haven't done me the whole lot of uh, use, but uh, whatever. Okay, let's probably mastermind a will wisp. Yep, and maybe just a pattern since I gonna have all the buys I can use the money. Yeah, yep. All right. Um, I don't think it's worth it necessarily, so keep that. Uh, whatever, keep that. Yeah, thank you, but no. And uh, yeah, okay. So I do have four willows, and that's that might be not the not the end of it. Oh, sorry. Should probably play other stuff before so that I can count properly. <clears throat> All right, so what's the deal? What if I just get like displays and prawns here? I don't feel like I necessarily need to play three masterminds per turn. So getting a mastermind this turn does not look too appealing to me. I think it might be worth and worth it. I, I think it might be okay to just try and I definitely want a displays. I might build a little bit more with just getting something like hunting grounds displays 
or like spices displays. But I think price is just fine. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try and go for that. Let's try to. Uh, yeah, let's try to put some pressure on the bronze pile. Because then again, the alternative VP is not great here. It is. It is here. I mean, we have those tunnels additionally, but uh, it's not the biggest deal. I hope he play. Does he have any pixies left? Hmm. Actually, he does not. I have the remaining pixies, all of them. Okay, that's good to know. He gets the spices here and probably a. Oh, it gets, it gets a hunting ground, all right. Uh, so should I, I think I just mastermind the uh, will of this because it maximizes my draw and that's the most important thing because I want to find both my masterminds here. And uh, here they are, okay. Mm, Pixie, plus one card. Well, under the circumstances, sounds good to me. Well, actually now I can draw everything. Yeah, whatever, okay. Um, I can turn this pixie into double patron. Actually, patrons are quite good for my deck because I have because of all the will wisps. I'm gonna eventually get uh, some covers out of them. Mm potentially this turn even. I think it might be worth it. It's it's not 100% clear to me that it's worth it. I'll keep this one, sure. All right. So now I can displace the prawns into like a spices or like a gold maybe. I wonder if I want to do that first. Or if I want to uh, play the Will of Wisps first. I think I, I'll go for the chance of actually drawing the gold. So I'll do the mm, uh, displays first. All right. So that should be a Prince and Mastermind. Yeah, I think I like that. And I feel like I'm doing quite fine here. He has, he has a lot of hunting grounds. That's definitely a good thing that's going for his deck, but um, it's, it's gonna be really hard for him to catch up and with the with the displaces around, I can empty the province pile quite quickly if I really want to. All right, it's soon more hunting grounds. Interesting. So okay, let's um, mastermind the will wisp. And what another one really? Mm, I don't really have any other draw to be honest, right? I don't have a single hunting grounds in my deck. I think it's worth it to just maximize the draw here. Oh, got a coffer and maybe another one. Yeah, nice. Okay, uh, plus one action. I don't really need that, I guess. I'm going to get my double province here no matter what. Oh, well, let's keep the pixie. It might still be useful. So displace the gold into a bronze. Uh, trash the copper. And just get a bronze, I guess. It might be bronze and uh, four or three cost. 
whatever let's keep the coffers just get a prize it's all good yeah i i mean at this point it's really hard for me to imagine him being able to catch up hunting pro hunting grounds don't hold this explosive uh, end game potential here not quite right because I and mean, the only way you can trash your hunting grounds for points is with the gold or trade route and both are quite awkward in terms you can't really mess this kind of thing so <laughs> but he keeps going for them maybe i'm missing something i mean it is really just trade route and gold but gold you only have one right and trade route i mean whatever I guess he took the estate from the pile, so now the trade route is kind of slightly more appealing, but still... He has zero trade routes, right? I mean, I'm not quite sure where he's trying to go with that. Uh, should I maybe mastermind the displays for some reason? I don't think so. Yeah, let's just still go for the same thing, let's maximize the draw. Well, so this time only one, uh, I didn't draw my second mastermind, but it's okay. It's okay as long as I uh, get another gold, discard from exile, sure, play the spices and uh, yeah, kill the copper. Just get a prince, hold on to my uh, coffers. I think I like the plan. I mean, obviously my deck is like kind of falling apart, but it's only three provinces left in the supply. I have a bunch of coffers. I have a mastermind in play, so I feel good about this one. Oh, wait a second. Is he like going to miraculously gain four dashes here and uh, kill me? Oh no. Oh my god, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was impressive. Okay, ah, uh, how did that happen, really? Damn it. Okay, <laughs> I was, I, I felt myself in a quite commanding position here. All right, well, what can I say? Well played. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's blame everything on the first first player advantage here as usual <laughs> so uh, in this one I'm going to be the first one and I have a 5-2 oh, let's look at the kingdom kingdom tab uh, yeah that's it so Where is the trashing? Mm, you don't really have any. So I guess I should be kind of happy to open with a torture. I mean, I would probably still prefer to get a 5-2 and open with like a magpie and a silver. But 5-2 it is, so it's going to be a torture. All right. And I can draw it right away, which is nice. Probably just get a second torture, which is slightly awkward, but I think it's uh, something I want to do. That's going to be a magpie. And uh, that is somewhat terrible, but then again, I just take the ghost down and then I hit him with double the torture the next turn. He gets his uh, first torture now. I sadly didn't get a magpie here, so he's up on magpies. Okay, uh, so he does not have a next turn. Uh, I think I want a captain at this point. I'm gonna go with that. Mm, 
can try and play it as a magpie or if I really expect to see a torture uh, as a top card, I, it, it would be better to play it as a worker's village. I'll go for a magpie. Oh, hey. All right. Mm, it was, it ended up being fine. That's definitely going to be another torture. I'll discard here. So curses are really bad here. Mm. It might be a worker's village. It might be a snow village. I think I'm. I would be better off with a snowy. Yeah, okay, so no turn for you. That's good. Mm, this might be just another captain. Probably that's the best I can do here. The workers' villages ain't gonna run out before the game ends, right? But yeah. So captain's always gonna be really good. He still ends up getting another magpie out of this. Mm. Well, all right, let's play a torture first and see what comes. Definitely need to play some sort of village here. I can I can play this one as magpie and then the next one of, as a snow village. I think that's that's okay. All right. That that worked out nicely. I I wanted to get this last magpie. Uh, the last card is uh, something I don't want to draw. It's probably a magpie, right? Yeah, so let's just leave it there. And he does not have a turn again, which is great. Mm, I can take another captain or I can take ghost town and workers village. Or I can take another torture. How about that? Mm, I played both my captains this turn, so maybe Playing another captain the next turn would be really nice, but also getting out torture right now just shut him shuts him down completely, kinda. Uh, I think I think I I'd be better off with the captain, and I'm still very likely to draw to my tortures and whatnot. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a GG. It's just a torture, torture does does the torture thing. You can't really. All right. <clears throat> so let's look at the next board. Uh, he's the first player here, so. What's going on? The, we have the Enchantress, we have the Lighthouse to protect from the attacks. The only attack is Enchantress. Uh, the only draw is, well, Imps. So I guess the opening should be Enchantress uh, Workshop, right? Mm, you can trash the coppers. Imps kind of work, uh, especially nicely with the wine merchants. Yeah, so you kind of, it ain't gonna be a very strong drawing engine, but you you'll get there with the, between imps and enchantresses. There is some draw, and you have plenty of uh, actions available between plazas and ironmongers. Yeah, you can if you want more uniques for your imps, you you might even consider getting a conclave. Hopefully he can't find his insurance here. That would be amazing. Yes, that's really nice. Mm. So actually he goes with an ironmonger for the opening. Oh, 
all right so he ain't gonna be able to attack me with enchanters which i guess doesn't really matter but what does matter he won't be able to play his enchanters uh, as an as enchanters so that's really good uh the bad the only bad news for me is that i was not able to draw to get to up to five here but it's okay i think i'll just get an ironmonger delay my um trashing a little bit it's not a biggest deal so thing is i do have another enchanters down there i think i i think i want to risk it i think i want to play this one as a pig and try to draw another one well didn't quite work out sad Ironmonger and maybe just another Enchantress. He takes a lighthouse. Uh, maybe he just had to. I don't want a lighthouse really. I'd rather get something that draws me cards. So. Um, let's just get another Enchantress. Am I going to risk it again? It's... Yeah, not hidden... F ah. I mean, at this point, I, I I have so many enchantresses that I think it's worth it. Also, I think it's worth it to just, uh, to just uh, really kill this pile because the draw is very important and you're gonna, you're gonna get your actions. Actions are easy to get. Draw is not that easy to get. Uh, he, he goes ahead and gets a second Dale's Worship. Interesting. Uh, another Ironmonger. That was not a good draw for me. Um, all my Ironmongers missed the shuffle. And he already trashed three coppers. I don't even have a counterfeit yet. So that, that does not look good for me at all. Discard this garbage. And discard that. And uh, here's my counterfeit. I'll get another well i might just go ahead you know what i'll just get the last generous see what happens i think i definitely want to split i mean it's not it's not like it's the end of the world for him definitely not because we still have the imps for draw and also he has like what three or four enchantresses uh, here I just gonna take the gold apparently and I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Keep that, discard that. Oh, I'm gonna trigger that, that's okay. Uh, but that, that sucks though. <laughs> Let's discard the worship. It's okay. So definitely another... Well, I can take I uh, like Iron Morgus and Plaza. Plaza. How about that? You know what? I think it might be better for my deck than to take another counterfeit. Because I'm my trash and you know, my deck has more junk, but I also have more powerful draw. So eventually, it's going to, there's going to be a turn where I like draw really nicely, and then I can maybe start adding those wine merchants to the, to the deck and whatnot. But uh, also, two piles are already empty, so the game ain't going to be ain't going to last the the whole lot of turns. I'd say he's still slightly ahead, because, yeah, so he, apparently, I think we split the Iron Mongers. He has five, I can see it, but, uh, all right. Let's discard that. Keep that, sure, discard that. Um, Second counterfeit or just a wine merchant. 
I think I'll start going for the wine, wine merchants. It shouldn't be just a plaza. Yeah, I think I, I think I only played my counterfeit once, so he trashed uh, six coppers to my one. Uh, that that definitely sounds pretty bad for me. But also, I mean, I do have this wine merchant. I do have this gold, which is, you know, both are good cards on this board. I would say those lighthouses. I mean. They're not very important, I think. I don't. I mean, I don't have. I don't really care about having those. So he only has three insurances. He does have a couple of uh, imps, though. Imps are really great, obviously. I might be able to get some here. I mean, I'm if I draw the devil's worship. I'm likely to. Um, let's be the enchantress, I guess. Oh my god. Uh, this way, I ain't going anywhere. This way, I'm just losing, right? I mean, I can't really draw like that. Damn it. <laughs> oh. There is only one enchantress down there. I guess three ironmongers. Yeah, I think this like a game losing turn here. Because I mean uh, yeah, I can get this uh, wine merchant, but then he he just he's just really ahead. I mean, I can get the province, but he can easily easily outscore that. I think. Mm, I don't know. Let's just get the wine merchant. I guess I don't I don't really want a lighthouse even. Guess I'll pick the plaza. But that that really sucked that um, I didn't get enough uh, uh, actions to play all the enchantresses at least. Yeah, in the long run, not hitting the counterfeit on my second shuffle was uh, was a big deal. Kind of hurt me quite some. He doesn't have, he doesn't really have the whole lot of treasures to play besides his counterfeits. Probably like a copper or not even that maybe. Yeah, I think he's out of coppers. So those counterfeits um, ain't too great for him right now. Gets an in. Uh, I'm not sure what in really does for him, to be honest. I mean, I guess he it's another unique for his imps, but so let's just uh, pick the plaza. I'll keep the gold. Didn't only drew one in shares, so I'm kind of dead here, to be perfectly honest. Uh, uh, I overspent the coffers here. Let me undo. It could be Wine Merchant Plaza. I mean, it could be just the province, right? But 
then uh, I would expect him to be able to double the next turn and then I mean I think I want to try and build more so yeah let's do a wine merchant plaza here and discard this dude and Yeah, I, I kind of feel like I, I filled my deck with uh, the whole lot of insurances and like ironmongers, and then they kind of didn't mm, go didn't didn't go very nicely together. So um, playing only one insurance per turn kind of hurts me a lot because I have this deck full of insurances and <laughs> they're basically uh, blanks if I can't play them. So that's not good. He only he only is one basically like one gain shirt. Oh actually can he can he win here? He he can win here, okay. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. I mean well played by him, but also I, I mean I don't know, I kinda of feel like I it, it's a bad thing to say that you, like I never had the chance but uh, yeah I feel like my decisions were not uh, super bad here and then I my shuffles were not not very nice but it, it, it's it's okay that happens so I think by now we played five games I won one of them so that's the last one and let's try to not lose this uh, and also let's look at the kingdom tab Mm, so yeah here it is and yeah all right mm. so I have uh, magpies again mm. no plus buy no no gains on this board well we have secret cave that's some gains and we have magpies and uh, that's about it I mean, you might as well count the uh, hideout as gains. So, if not for the secret cave, I would strongly consider just going gear, money, with the uh, with the lost start support. It should be just mm, really, really good here. Having the secret cave though, I think you you want to get up to six uniques and you want to get your wishes. So maybe just gear magpie opening, or mm, you might try and get a steward. Mm. What are the uniques going to be? Like gear, magpie, copper, silver, lamp, that's five. All of those you kind of want anyway, right? Hmm, what else? Could be like a village, which is rather useless at the later stages of the game, I, I guess. Could be a cave. I mean, it could be a steward. It could be. Uh, wait, you can you can do steward, right? Before law. Uh, you know what? You do want to try to thin down a little bit. I think I think if you do want to thin down, you get this uh, stupid steward uh, right away, and then yeah, yeah, and then you just get all the gears and magpies and whatnot. All right, that's going to be the gear. I mean, I'm super not happy to to just not buy anything. But oh well, whatever. So, 
So this might as well be a silver. Yep. Because not because it's a very good card, just because you really want it because of the, whatever it's called, the unique count for the, for the your lamp. And actually, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, if I draw a silver now, I trigger. But I didn't. Hmm, that sucks a lot. Now, yeah, because now magpies do not count. And I need to wait another turn. But good thing is I... I don't have the states to trash now. So... I can do a lost starts now. And it might be a thing to do. I mean, eventually you want to do it anyway. That's not a good start in hand. Definitely. Uh, that looks very good for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, damn it. He was able to do it first. Uh, I might as well... I think I, I think I'd be better off with Mac, with the uh, mole in this hand away. Let's try and do that. Oh my god, that's so terrible! <laughs> like, yeah, that's and I bottom decked my gear. I I one yeah one two three yeah yeah whatever. I just I just bought. I mean, oh my god, that's. <laughs> It's like the worst shuffle ever. I mean, I can't... I don't even want to buy a second gear now because second gear does not in any way help me with activation. I think I just get a freaking cave here. All right. Let's try again. But uh, the, my problem is he can he can start buying provinces this turn already. Warehouse I don't care about all that much. Might be useful at the very end of the game, but right now it's uh, like whatever. Takes a village. I mean, I don't really, I don't really care about the villages, right? At the end of it. You might consider getting like a villain. That would be a nice thing to get, I guess. And actually, if he gets one now, he hits me really badly. Well, maybe, I mean, maybe I can still survive that, but mm, that would be quite annoying if I don't draw another magpie with the gear. Okay. Oh, never mind. He's, so he spent all the wishes. Uh, get, he got a gear. He got a village and he had a warehouse. I don't know. Okay, magpie gear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, that's not. Well, I'm I'm willing to just buy gear here. To be honest, 
but also mm, you know what i'm just going i'm just going to trash the coppers right and buy gear yeah that's okay so i'm gonna discard i maybe i should have been uh stashing away one of those that's gonna be a gear uh i like i i'm happy to have the lost arts on gears that's going to be quite a quite an advantage although he does have those villages if he can't buy a province here then i feel like i'm in, i'm still in a pretty good shape because i'm definitely going to buy a province this turn whatever it takes but i think he should be able to do it mm, quite handily Hmm, never mind. Gets a villain. Okay. Um yeah, that that's totally fine with me. So gear mm, done setting aside, I guess. Mm, where's where's the Okay, uh, yeah, I actually I got everything I wanted, right? Hang on this card. It's gonna be a gold. That's gonna be a gear. So I do want a province here, right? I mean, Willen is nice, but I don't think I don't think it's worth it to spend a turn for me to get there. To this villain, and I don't think it's worth to spend a turn to trash things. So I'll I'll just go ahead and get the prize. And it's nice to have this wish still for uh, you know for some future use. He has this estate, which might be quite annoying. Yeah, okay, I'll discard the silver, not the biggest deal. Alright, I handily won the magpie split, which is great. I might try and... I might try and... get a dutch out of this wish. Let's try and draw a little bit. I can, you know what, I'm going to go for that. Uh, most of those are magpies, I think. So I'm going to... Plus coins, and uh, not gonna play the... I mean, yeah, I, I do think those are magpies. Most, maybe it's not true, I, I think most Maybe I should have been playing this magpie. Well, all right. Yeah, one of those was a silver, right? I kind of forgot about that. I kind of like, you know, I, as a first player, he's, you know, stepping on my toes. I, I kind of... Mm, He's having this extra state. I kind of like to have this opportunity to maybe get a dachi. So as long as I'm not forced to uh, cash in this wish for, for a gold or something or like a villain, I think I, I, I'm going to try and hold to it. Oh, silver goes down again. I should I should try and remember that I do have a silver in the discard. All right. I've never set aside 
a single card with a gear in this game. Mm. Just sit aside, uh, Stuart and Magpie. Mm, yeah, that looks good. Well, actually, wait a second. I can set aside Golden Magpie, that's probably better. Yep. Oh, uh, you sure discard this bronze? He goes for bronze. And the last card is a wish, which is going to be a Dashi soon. Like in this song. Mm. Yeah, just like that. So, Secret Cave. Well, actually, that was a bad order. That was a better. That it it should have been a gear instead. It should have been a gear first because I need to get the up to bronze. Can I can I discard here? That will help me a, a lot for the next turn. But discarding this copper might kill me. I mean, right now I have five, and I'm going to three three cards guaranteed. Hmm, let's risk it. All right, two more coins to draw, and I didn't got I didn't get there. Yeah, nice. All right, I feel good about it now. With the three, yeah, okay. Uh, well, he's going to talk me here. I think this time I'm going to discard a magpie as opposed to a silver. Well, if he if he drew up uh, to his villain, indeed. Mm, yeah, there goes the magpie. He gets a dashi here. Uh, and let's see if I can draw two more coins. And I can. Okay. Well, nice. So, yeah, not the best match for me. I've lost most of the games, but still was able to win a couple. So, not that bad. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And see you in the next one, which is probably going to be rather soon.